Hey everyone, what's going on? Um, today's video is uh, a sort of, I don't know, an update video. Um, so recently I had purchased a bunch of new DVDs for my collection and I'm going to be showing you basically an update on uh, what I got. So I have three piles here. Um, one, two, and three. So let's go ahead and get on with it. So first up, I went and brought Futurama Season 1. Now I did go and get Season 2, but for some reason they didn't have it in stock. Um, I have no idea why. Um, they have the box set, but not the case. I don't know. It's weird. Anyway, so Futurama Season 1. Love the show. Um, glad it's back. Um, yeah, can't wait to get stuck into it. Um, then I purchased American Dad Season 1, 2, and 3. Um, and again, I went to purchase Season 7 as well. And again, they didn't have it, which is really bad. Um, and then these are three ones that I'm really excited for. is the Family Guy Star Wars Trilogy. Blue Harvest, something, 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 Dark Side, and It's a Trap. Which are really cool, and I cannot wait to get stuck into. And fun fact, uh, Family Guy was called Blue Harvest was a nod to the fact that the original A New Hope was code-worded originally, as to, you know, no leaks or anything would get out, was originally code-worded um, Blue Harvest. So yeah, fun fact. Um, and then we have Something, Something, Dark Side, which is Empire Strikes Back. And it's a trap being um, Return of the Jedi, which is super duper fun. So then we have one I'm really excited for. As you know, I purchased um, Game of Thrones season one to six. Um, here we have Game of Thrones season seven. Uh, really cool. Only seven episodes, which is why you know uh, season eight has six episodes, which I'm not looking forward to, but you know it's whatever. Um, but yeah, I have to say the box is really nice. Um, this I don't know if you can see that very well, but obviously you got the um, uh, Night King or something, something King. Um, oh, I don't even know this leaflet in here. That's cool. I have a leaflet collection as well. It's weird. In fact, I'll show you that in another video because there's so many of them. Um, but yeah, that's season 7 on Game of Thrones. And let me just move this pile over here. Um, and then this one, we've just got uh, House MD, season 1. And season 2. Now, I've seen a lot of you know clips online of House MD, and I thought it was really funny. And obviously, Hugh, I think his name's Hugh Laurie or something. Um, but he's a, really, he's a really funny guy. So uh, I thought, why not? Why not purchase them? You know, go all out. Um, so yeah, that was that part. And um, last but not least, the last part, um, we have the uh, Doctor. I actually got this in a charity shop. Um, Doctor Who, uh, Seventh Doctor Story Eleven: The Curse of Fenric. A really good story uh, with Ace and obviously Sylvester McCoy as the Seventh Doctor. Um, and I'm collecting all the classic Doctor Who DVDs. So far, I'm doing poorly, but this because they're so expensive at the moment. But who cares? Um, Yes, can't wait to get stuck into that at all. And then we just have the Star Wars stuff as well. Um, so uh, again, recently I purchased um, the original trilogy, and now we have the prequel trilogy. Not all in one, um, but in the separate things. So we have Star Wars Episode One, Two, and Three: Revenge of the Sith, Attack of the Clones, and Phantom Menace. Uh, really cool finds um, and then actually this is I'm um, really excited for actually is the Clone Wars complete season one um, ultimate collector's edition um, which is really cool and it comes in this really cool red and gold casing which is super 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 cool and in addition to that uh, it comes with a little art book, which is again super cool. It uh, shows you the early designs and how they, 
you know, any mock-ups and of the characters and stuff, which is just super cool. Um, so glad I found that as well. That's super cool. So uh, yeah, that's uh, that's all I got so far. Um, let me just put these back in order real quick. Trying to keep all their stuff together in order. So one, two, Clone Wars, and uh, three. I'm trying to get Clone Wars, but it's super expensive again, as it only ended a couple of years ago. Um, but uh, you know, I'm still trying to find two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I think I'm going to purchase two, three, and four, and then stop for a bit, uh, or try to see if I can just wait until uh, some deals or whatever, because. Uh, five, six, and seven. I think it was seven that he ended on. Um, are super expensive. Oh, actually, I forget. This is super cool as well. This is another super cool thing. Um, I did actually forget. This is the original Omen trilogy. Um, again, super cool. The original 1970s Omen, 25th anniversary edition. Um, and what's cool about this actually is uh, what's cool about this is the way that it opens. So obviously, I mean, again, the this um, is the way they designed this is incredible. If you open it up correctly, it opens up into this little cross or upside down cross which is a symbolism for Satan in uh, many religions which is again super cool I really do love it when uh, they ooh, I did it wrong when they really put the effort into the box sets and the special editions I really love when they put the effort and show that they really care about their product and I think it's uh, super super cool so bit of a short video but uh, yeah, so that was the uh, collection update. Um, if you want me to do some independent videos on maybe Family Guy Star Wars Trilogy or the American Dad box sets or Futurama or maybe you even want me to do some reviews on some of the box sets that I've got, then go ahead and leave a comment down below. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video where I shall be showing you my entirety of my DVD leaflet collection. And uh, there's a lot. So, uh, yeah. I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.